Hello all you wonderful people and greetings from historic Gatorland, a place that has been here since 1949. So let's go check it out. Oh, they got jokes here. They got jokes. Well, be jealous Walt Disney. The first amusement ride in Central Florida was this here little train. Wait a minute, you can feed? Yes, five dollars for three fish, anybody can do it. There you go, five dollars for three fish. You can fish for gators. If you've ever seen Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, they did insert shots of the alligators. When they fall off in the bridge, they got the chakra stones, they fall in the water. Right here is where they shot the insert shots for them getting ripped apart. He's like, hey, you can tell Kelly in hell. And then just cut to this. Wow. Movie magic. Check out that surfing bird right there. These gators are considered very rare. Apparently there are only 12 left in existence. That might be an estimate. I'm only doing this once, so no one blocked anyone's view. Here we go. Gatorland's been here since the 1940s. A long time ago, people would just come by and when they're on travels, like, oh, well, Gatorland's down here. It's like going to Cypress Gardens, going to all these places. It wasn't a big draw, but it was a, you know, a roadside attraction. Then Disney came in and well, people just kept coming. They're like, I want to see real Florida. And as you can see, you can see some real Florida. Well, I guess it's as real as you can get in theme park Florida. <laughs> alligator breathing march they also have a zip line right over it it looks like one of the zip liners has gotten stuck on the zip line and is currently over a giant marsh of alligator yeah they come out and get her there goes spider-man there he goes dun -na -na, dun -na -na. see not all heroes wear capes guys going nuts up there. The real reason I wanted to come to Gatorland is to see this, the new attraction, the Gatorland Stompin' Gator Off-Road Adventure. I heard about it in the Orlando Sentinel all the way out in Japan. I know one of the guys who made it. Actually, if you watch one of my videos where I was working at a haunted house, you'll see that guy in it. So I'm really excited to see my friends work and see a new attraction that has a story. Like, you know, normally you get on these things and it's like, okay, here's a gator. Apparently this is a story, so let's go see it. Welcome to Florida. Good day, I'm Russell Munz, CEO of Gator Gardens. Gator Gardens is the realization of a lifelong dream to open an alligator park that directly competed with the world's greatest alligator park, Gatorland. And we're better to open that park than riding Gatorland's own backyard. My company acquired a, a swap truck that operated here. We've quietly driven out the great simple folks who took 
who ran that tour and turned the ride into a mind-numbing experience like you've never had. So, join us on our delightfully dreary tour of real Florida, featuring stereotypical cartoon critters from around the world. You ruined my ride, you pop belly star trapping. The former owner, security! That guy right there, yep. he made this attraction. He's one of the best guys I've ever met in my entire life. I wouldn't be in Japan if it wasn't for that guy right there. He helped get to Japan. That's Dan Carroll. One of the most amazing people in the world. Gator Gardens. That's an awesome name, Brooklyn. I got a real important question for you, Brooklyn. Do you want to go through these gates and listen to that weird stuff for eight more hours? The answer's no. 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 There you go. If y'all want to steal this buggy, have a rough ride off-road adventure, let me get a yee-haw. Yee-haw. All right. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. There we go. Well, my name's Steve. This is Megan, your crazy driver. We're probably going to get fired for this, but that's all right. <laughs> oh, that's because technically we just stole this buggy. Yeah, so we all are accomplices now. So I'll blame Brooklyn. That's her idea. Oh, man. Security cameras in the middle of nowhere. Well, as my granny used to tell me, if you're going to go to jail, you might as well go big. So just smile away, folks. Oh, hey, Swampy Salmon. I'm happy to see you. Hang on to your boat. There's an R in that word, folks. A big one. Yep. Let's see. Must be pointing away. You want me to lay up the ways where God it where that one tree must they cut down. That's a head. I know why, folks. This here is hollow ground. You're coming up on the legendary alligator graveyard. Folks, when gators pass away and these bars are laid to rest right here, we have some famous ones like Bone Crusher, Cannibal Jake, and that mythical swamp ghost. Now, these are some of Gatorland's most famous residents. Oh, we just gonna be like my ex and get over it? Uh, oh, okay. Hang on. This is a swamp buggy, not a tree buggy, so this should be interesting. Oh, there we go. The South Gator Pond, that is amazing. Swampy South always said the best attraction in Florida is Florida itself. These gators truly prove that point. Now, he had a few attractions of his own, and business is all about location, location, location. It's probably not the best location for a dive shop or a sea rental. Easy thing we're about to do, I just got to put on this seatbelt, and it's going to get real cattywampus. Hold on. I, hold on, I don't have my seatbelt on. Oh man, that was close. Real close. If we couldn't do that, we'd be D E D D. Jesus sprinkles. Oh man. All right. We got two more. Small for that camera up there, folks. We go up. Then we go down. And we go up. It's a redneck roller coaster in the woods. Oh man. And there we go. We have made it. Woo. That was crazy. Is that you, Swampy Sal? Oh yeah, Brooklyn's going to jail for Grand Theft Auto. Back Hey, what do you know? Alright folks, Swampy Sal's got his buggy back. Honey, you don't have to go to jail. That's really good. You're too cute for jail. I want to thank y'all for riding on Stomping Gator off road. It was a pretty good show. If yeah. only the person that like helped make it was here, that'd be amazing. That'd be incredible. That was a really cool little ride. It's amazing what they did with a small concept. Normally you go to something like that, it's just like, hey, we're gonna go on a little ride. Look out, look, there's some gators over there. Uh, make a joke or two. That was a full show. The guy who created Dan Caro, or help, I don't know his full thing, but he seems to be pretty high technical in it. Jeremy, who's filming, do you think he's high technical in it? Yes. Yes, okay, good. He, he did an amazing job with that. There's a good story. It's fun. It's exciting. When you look around Gatorland, you see like gators and everything. But that actually gave you a full story and it's a parody of theme parks. If you like like corporate theme parks, like, oh, this is Disney. Oh, everything's cute and happy. Everyone's having a great time. I think you'd like that. That's worth the upgrade for sure if you want to come to Gatorland. It's only right now like $22 plus tax to come into Gatorland. That's a couple extra dollars more. You get a, a, a real show. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. And as I always say, you can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay groovy. Gatorland!
They got jokes.